Hello everyone, my name is Z, and today we will be covering the first DLC pack for Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed. Before we do, timestamps of specific information will be in the description and comment section of this video. Also, if you'd like to support a new creator on the platform, why not do a like and a comment down below. Are you excited for the new DLC? What would you like to be added in the future? Let me know down below. First thing is Twist Drops. During February 1st through the 16th, Ilphonic will host live streams for Ectoplasm Ghost Skins. All you need to do is appear in the streams to participate in this event. You will have to link your Twitch account to the Ilphonic website. Just to be safe, make sure to link whatever platform you play Ghostbusters on to the website. Link in the description and comment section to the linking website. The new map is called Facility. Speculations and screenshots predict that this is a hospital map. It is also speculated that this map will also have more than two floors, but overall from the screenshot, it will be a darker, spookier map. One of the new secondaries is the Belt Gizmo. This is a passive gadget, allowing the Buster to have a duller ecto signature for the ghost and ghost vision, making the Buster much more stealthier and harder to see through walls. The next secondary is the Disruptor Pylon. This is an AoE gadget. It prevents the ghost from possessing objects in its vicinity. It also targets and destroys objects that are already possessed when the object enters the AoE of the gadget. It has a battery life, and every time that it zaps the object, it takes more energy from it. It can also be destroyed by the ghost. A new attachment for the PKE is also coming, the Ecto Zapper. Appearing from the Afterlife movie, this is a close range stun. It replaces the PKE Blast, but it has a better cooldown and is faster for stunning. New cosmetics are now available. You can now change the Proton Pack, Particle Thrower, PKE, and Trap to the style of the real Ghostbusters. Some attachments will not be able to be selected because of the cosmetics, and the cosmetics will be locked behind research contracts. Speaking of the real Ghostbusters heading into the player customization, they added new hairstyles of the real Ghostbusters from Ray, Peter, Egon, and Winston, and even Janine's from the classic cartoon. But wait! Hairstyles aren't the only cosmetic items for the Busters, they added a ton of eyewear as well, ranging from the ghost cycle goggles that Slimer would wear from the secret identity mask, Egon's glasses, and Janine's glasses as well. But some of these glasses will be locked behind new side hustles that they will add once the DLC drops. Next, they added patches. These are new customization options for the Buster. Unlocked through levels and side hustles, you can equip them on your chest or your left arm. You can view your collection on the cork board next to the player customization. They are adding a new tenure for the next DLC, which will allow players to rank up to level 300. And with a new tenure, they added a new reward, the steak puff hat and the puffed up snowsuit which can be customized a different color. I don't know if you can separate the hat from the snowsuit, but if you can, I'm 100% rocking just the hat on my character. Just saying. And finally, they added a new feature to the pause menu while at the firehouse. They added a news board in the bottom. This will give updates on events that are scheduled. They also added a quick menu for players that don't want to walk around the firehouse to get to the different menus. They are also doing a lot of UI fixes for the busters, adding more information to the screen and fixing gear loadout information so that it will be much easier to understand what kind of build you are putting together. And finally, uh, this is the final bit of information. Uh, they will be adding a new ghost when the DLC releases, but they didn't cover this yet, but they did confirm in the stream that a new ghost will come out once the DLC drops. And that's pretty much it. Again, if you like this video and want more, like it and comment down below. If you subscribe during this video, you may get to have a chance to win a copy of Ghostbusters. Uh, I will get in contact with the winner soon, so hurry up and subscribe. And thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.